In this video, I'm going to explain how you can add an opt-in form to any mobile site. In fact, or to any page of any mobile site. You can actually have more than one opt-in form on any mobile site. Um, let me go here to this test page because I've already set one up on here. All you need to do is come down to where the opt-in settings are. Here they are here. Let me just put that in the middle of the screen for us. And here is the text that you want to appear where you're asking for their name, the text you want to appear where you're asking for their email, and the text you want to appear on the button that they need to press to send their details to you. Here, you just paste in the opt-in code that you get from your autoresponder. So I've just pasted something in that I got from Aweber. Now what you want is you want the HTML version of the code. You don't want to use the JavaScript version. If you're Aweber, then you want the uh, HTML version of the form. If you get response or any other, you, you want an HTML version of the form that they give you. Just copy that exactly as they tell you and put it on here and Easy Mobile Site Generator will work everything else out for you. Now just to explain a little bit, um, these prompts down here, what you put in here, let me show you where they, they go down on the preview screen further down the page here. So remember we've got here your name, your email, press here. So come down here and we just go down here and there it is there, that's my opt-in form there at that point on my page. Your name, your email, press here. These colours, they come from the theme that we're using on this particular page. So obviously those are changeable to whatever you want. You just set it up in the theme as to what colours you want for the, 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 the background here, the background for the button part and the background for the entry part, which is this section here. So you can change all of that, whatever you want on here. Um, let's, for example, say instead of saying press here, we want to put a traditional submit. Then all we need to do is come back up here, and where it says press here, maybe you instead of saying press here, maybe you want to say uh, get your free gift. Okay, let's just go and update that. And come down, so there we are, get your free gift. If I look down here on my preview screen, now it says get your free gift. So you can change this text, this text and this text. And you input your autoresponder details and it's automatically sent through to your autoresponder. That's all there is to it, it's very, very simple. Now, placing it on the, on the page, you see here, it came about where it says if you want a free gift you can opt in I can't spell below okay I'll correct that while I'm uh, doing this so you see where it appeared if you want a free gift you can opt in below now all I did to get that was here is the short code that I want this is the one from the main site and this is the one from this page it's the same concept as we use with maps, telephone numbers, contact forms, everything like that. You can use, you can reuse the same setting on several different pages. So all I did, I wanted that there. If I come up to my editing screen up here. If I scroll down, there we go. There's my short code there. So I would just paste my short code there. If you remember, I had this spelling mistake. Let me correct that. While I'm here, below, so then I just do update, and you'll see that the text there has changed, there we go, below, um, and so we can move it to anywhere on the page that we want. We can reuse this same short code on a different page and get an opt-in on a different page so you can have the opt-in on every page if you want on the site. It's entirely up to you. It's very flexible, very easy to use. All you do is paste the code that you get from your autoresponder company in here, 
set your text up here. Remember in the defaults, when you saw the video about the defaults, there are defaults for these settings in there. So if you leave these completely blank, you'll get whatever is in the defaults section. But if you want to, you can override on a page by page, site by site basis to be whatever you want. Um, if you want to change the colors, um, what are we using here? We're using the theme black on gray. So black on gray gives us gray there with a pale blue here. So I go to themes and go to black on gray. Black on gray is that one. And I look down for the opt in. Opt in form settings. There's the background color. There's the submit button color. There's the input color. The text color, text size, border color, border width, and border style. So we can set any of these settings here to control our opt in form. So you've got complete flexibility over how the opt in form looks on your mobile websites. It's very easy, very simple, very flexible.